hello and welcome guys so in this video we are going to create a screwdriver so let's get started we start by creating a cylinder rotating it 90 degrees in the X and giving it 16 subdivision axis so now we go into the face mode and delete these faces select the front faces and inverse select and then we delete select these two edges and extrude them down and snap them to the grid so now we scale it in the X go into edge mode and select these edges and extrude them out so now we delete these faces and fill this gap and connect these vertices together and then we insert two edge loops on either side and connect them as well snap the pivot to the bottom left of the object and then duplicate it and snap it to the other end and then combine those two and change the pivot again and duplicate it till we have six copies of it merge vertices snap these vertices together then snap the end vertices so that they are straight now snap the object to the grid and apply a bend deformer rotate the deformer 90 degrees in Y and X adjust the curvature so that it is perfectly round and delete the history now select all the vertices and merge them with a threshold of 0 0.01 select these edges extrude them and scale them apply circularized component Select these edges, extrude them, extrude them once again and make the top part of the screwdriver. Extrude and merge vertices to center. Add few more edges using the edit edge flow and bevel them and adjust the topology and also use edit edge flow. So if we apply a shiny material to this, we might see some small artifacts. So to fix this, what I would do is select every other edge and delete them. And also I would scale them in Y so that it is completely flat and we won't be able to see any artifacts in the shading. Select these faces again and scale them too. And now we don't see any artifacts over there.
we do see some artifacts on the center part but we will be fixing that part later on so now i'll just select the edges on the bottom and extrude them and scale them down and extrude them again and then i would snap it to the grid So now I'll go ahead and select these faces. Select these as well. And these on the top too. And deselect one on the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'll apply an extrude on this. and adjust the offset once I've extruded it I'll increase the length and I'll also check it from all sides to see whether we have any shading issues it turns out that we do have some minor issues but we can easily fix them by adding more edges I'll change the pivot to center and then rotate it slightly and then select only one part of the details once I've done adjusting one part of the details then I can duplicate that part six times and then I would have the same details everywhere and now I'll make a cut here and insert an edge loop and then connect those two points and delete this edge and insert an edge to the left and do the same thing on the right Delete these spaces. Now change the pivot to that point and duplicate and rotate them till we have a complete object and then combine it and then merge vertices and then bridge these faces together. We do see some shading issues which can be easily fixed 
by applying edit edge flows on these edges so select these edges and just apply an edit edge flow on them and check whether we have fixed the issue and we need to apply to these edges as well and apply edit edge flow and check again and now we don't see any shading issues at all so now we need to add just the angle of this area with the angle of the upper extruded part so to do that what we need to do is select all the vertices and then snap to the upper vertex or you can also scale them and then select these faces and duplicate them and select the edge and extrude them out and now fill this hole and select this object and extrude and apply a boolean difference now we need to delete the history and fix topology on these parts so connect these edges and delete these edges and do the same thing on the other side so if you notice that applying a boolean has made some changes to our topology so instead of fixing everything we are just going to fix one half of the model and then we are going to duplicate the corrected mesh so now i'll go ahead and select these faces delete them and select this two and delete and delete these faces as well and then now what I'll do is snap my pivot to the center point and then duplicate and rotate it 180 degrees and now combine it and then we merge vertices So now we have the angle that we wanted. So now I'll add an edge exactly in the center and then I'll select those edges and then convert them to faces and then convert them again to edges and then select all these edges I'll press 3 to check whether I've selected all the edges or not. And then I'll bevel them. And it looks like I missed one edge. So I'll just undo and select them again.
and add a bevel again. I'll turn the chamfer mode to off. And then go into edge mode and select these edges and circularize them and these as well. And now I'll turn on my shading to see whether we have any artifacts. Press 3 to check. And it looks like we don't have any. Bevel this edge and add a segment. And I think we need to add some edge hole over here. And add a few more edges. Add one more edge over here. So now we go into the front mode and select these faces and then duplicate them. And then we snap the pivot to this point and then we scale it in negative y axis. And then combine these two and merge vertices together. And then select these edges and scale them and move them down slightly. And now select these faces and duplicate them again and then change the pivot to this point and then scale them in negative y axis again and then combine them and merge vertices together. Now we select this edge and add a bevel and add a few more edges over here. Now select these edges and convert them to faces, increase the selection and delete these faces. Now select these edges and extrude them inwards and extrude them one more time and extrude them once more and then merge vertices to center. Select these edge loop and add a bevel with one segment. And now the top part of the screwdriver is complete. So now to create the lower part of the screwdriver, I'll go ahead and create a cylinder with 24 subdivision axis. And then I'll go into the front view and adjust the shape a little bit. And now I'll create a cube, I'll scale it and then select this edge and deselect these edges and adjust the shape and bevel it. And then now I'll select the whole cube and scale it in Y and align it with the cylinder like so. Now we add a few edges over here and then now we select the top vertex and then convert it to faces and then delete it and then we add a fill hole and then we go to the top view 
and select the vertices exactly in the center and connect them. Hide this part, select the cylinder and the cube and apply a boolean. And now delete the history to get rid of this shape. We adjust the vertices, merge them to, to the vertical edge of the cylinder. We make sure that we do not interfere with the vertical edge of the cylinder, otherwise it might change the shape. And again in this part we adjust these vertices without disturbing the shape of the cylinder. And now we add an edge from this point to this point and delete these edges. And now we delete the other half. Delete this edge loop and now add an edge from this point to this and do the same thing on the other side and snap them together. Add an edge loop. Add a few more edges over here. Now make a connection here and connect these edges in such a way that the flow is directed back up upwards. And select these vertices and then adjust the flow. Now select these edges and add a bevel with 3 segments and 0.25 fraction. Select this vertex, convert to face and delete and then apply a shiny material to check whether we have any artifacts and we don't see any issues with the shading so we are going to snap the pivot to this point and mirror it on the other side with 0 0.01 merge threshold and then check again and it looks like we don't have any shading issues at all select these edges and extrude them down unhide our screw head reverse the scale and move it down and now adjust the scale and move it up and change the pivot to center and snap it with this point and then we can scale it again and increase the length and rotate it 90 degrees so that the flat side is facing forward 
and now we can add a few more edges and now the final part select this vertex convert to face and scale it so that it touches this point and then extrude it down and now increase the selection and convert it to edges perimeter and then bevel and then select these two edge loops and add a bevel again with one segment and now adjust this edge loop and this as well and now our screwdriver is complete thank you for watching and see you guys next time